Hey, this is Ellie from Magic Beans, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down with my friend Laura the difference between various ergo carriers. Now, you're researching ergo carriers, you love them, they're ergonomic, they're comfortable, they're innovative, they're very popular, but they have the 360, the Omni, the Omni Mesh, and you're confused, and we get it. We're here to help you at Magic Beans. So, we're going to break it all down for you today. Now, if you have any questions about these baby carriers, any other baby carriers, or any other piece of baby gear, you gotta go to mbeans.com slash questions. You can leave a comment below, or you can give us a call. If this is your first time watching our video, I'm Ellie from Magic Beans, and we review and compare the latest and greatest in baby gear. And remember, the Ergo 360, the Ergo 360 Omni, and the Ergo 360 Omni Cool Mesh, Isabel from us with from Magic Beans with free shipping. Here are the comparisons. We're here with Laura from Ergo Baby, and we're going to be talking about the differences between these various Ergo Baby carriers. I know there's a lot of confusion around what exactly the differences are, so we're going to break it down for you and give you some helpful tips around them. Great. So Ergo Baby is known uh, for the original carrier, and then a few years ago, we decided to come out with a forward-facing carrier, meaning the baby can face out or away from you. So what we have here is the 360 carrier, um, and what it does is it has the option to face the baby in here with the black buttons, as well as the gray buttons to face away or gray to face away. The 360 carrier does require an infant insert. What this means is that when baby is a newborn, in order to fill the space of the carrier, you are going to need the secondary accessory. And how long do you use the infant insert for? So it's really about milestones more than a particular age or weight. And so what we're looking for is baby has good head and neck control. When that happens, you actually can use this little pillow portion alone. And then what we're waiting for is that baby can spread the width of the panel of the carrier and fit well inside the body of the carrier. So it's really about those milestones. And for some babies, that's four months. And for other babies, it's six months. Cool. Can we try it on? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up our carrier here. And I'm going to unsnap it. And then we're going to go ahead and affix it to the straps of the carrier. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. And then as you can see, it actually comes around here and clips right on. That's so smart. It's really smart because you won't lose your insert, but also we actually have a different method now for loading the baby in, which is really handy. You can clip the carrier on and then load baby from the side instead of having to hold the insert and the carrier together. Great. So first we're gonna put our waist on. This is what buckles around our waist. And you may notice um, this extra piece here. Um, all of our carriers now have lower back or lumbar support. Oh great. Which is really great. So this has to be against you this Against my back, okay great. Yep. And then put that panel, there's that panel. Yep. And you have plenty of slack here so it does fit a wide range of body types and styles. Okay, we're gonna go through this little loop here, the little yeah, the safety catch. Safety you're catch. Click it and then pull the tail out uh, past the rubber band. Okay, great. And then you're gonna go ahead and turn it back around. around. Then we're gonna put one strap on. So now we're gonna load our baby. And what's nice is you can put that one shoulder strap on so you feel nice and secure. And you're gonna go ahead and lower baby in uh, via the side of the carrier. So what's nice is you can go ahead and guide the leg through and really sit the baby down, kind of like a little chair. Oh, it's like sitting on that insert. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, you're gonna put your second strap on. And like other buckle carriers, it's the looseness of the straps, which allow you to track your hands back and clip. So, but what you'll be doing is taking both hands and tracking them back and clipping your hands back. So when you come around, um, you can see, is baby high enough on the body that you can kiss the top of the baby's head? Can you see baby's face? Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Um, so baby will be nice and cozy in this until they reach those milestones. And then if I were to readjust this to face out. So what you would do is you would change the buttons on the front and that would allow you to narrow the seat. So you'd be buttoning from the black to the gray, gray to face away. Um, and that would uh, position the seat so that baby can sit ergonomically facing out. This is really also a great carrier for feeding. It makes it really easy to drop the baby down and feed. But overall, this could be a great carrier from really birth all the way on up to toddler. Great. So the next carrier is the Omni carriers. So Omni, yes, I'm super excited to share this with you. What's different about this is that it does not require that infant insert. And for many who feel intimidated um, or worried about the heat and don't want that secondary piece, the Omni carrier allows you to adjust 
via these tabs on the waistband, really from newborn for that narrow base all the way on out until baby is toddler age. And this so. adjusts the width, mm -hmm. and then for facing out, you do also need to change the buttons, similar to the 360. So we're looking at black buttons to face you, hip and back, and then gray to face away. The buckles are actually located here on the side of the body. What that means is you can easily lower the baby to feed, but also to give yourself slack to unclip it, and it also allows for crossable straps, which is a really nice additional option. We'll demonstrate with a cool mesh. Okay, so to adjust for our newborn doll here, we're going to move the tabs over. And just like the other carrier, we're going to buckle it around the waist. So I like to do it backwards so that I can see what I'm doing when I clip. It's around, great. You also have a really shaped seat or this bucket seat, and we're gonna wanna make sure that our baby's bottom is deep in that seat. Put our baby on our body. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the carrier up, making sure that we sit baby down in that nice little bucket seat mm -hmm. so the carrier ends up where we want it on the baby, and then we put our straps on one at a time. And what's nice is the straps are right here, so if you wanna let it out, all you have to do is lift. Great. And this is the mesh version or the Omni Cool Air mesh version mm -hmm. of the carrier. Mm -hmm. So then with the slack, we're going to be able to reach back and clip. And then we're going to do one at a time, um, tighten the strap. So what we're going to do is lift on the baby, underneath the baby's bottom, okay. and pull back. Explain these adjusters. So we call these sliders, and this makes it really easy for you to switch between positions. That means when you're ready to go ahead and flip baby forward facing or world facing, all you have to do instead of a button is slide these sliders forward. That makes it so handy when you're going back and forth between positions, you don't have to take the carrier off at all. Um, can you show me how to do the cross position? So we're gonna unclip our chest clip. So we're gonna loosen up to reach that chest clip. So to get your carrier off, you're gonna need to know how to do this as well. All you have to do is lift on the sides here. That creates slack in your shoulder straps and then you're gonna be able to reach back and your chest clip will suddenly be high. So undo that. Got Great. It. And so to do crossable straps, we're gonna have to unclip these. Um, so what you're gonna be doing is, this is uh, these are actually special one-handed safety buckles. You're gonna be lifting with your forefinger and then depressing um, to unclip these. Great. So what we're gonna do is let these straps down and we're gonna do one at a time uh, to create an X on our back or cross straps. So okay. what we're gonna do is just like we did a maid eye, you're gonna go ahead and put one strap over, whichever one feels natural okay. to you and then reach behind and grab. Yeah, just making sure our baby's nice and centered. There mm -hmm. we go. And then you just have to clip here on the side. What I like about it is that you feel quite secure with just completing that one strap. So then when you go to do the second strap. Oh yeah, it's like you, you, the baby feels so yeah, secure. Yeah, you already feel really safe. Right. Yeah. And, and then, then you're going to do the second strap. And then switch hands. Grab it. Grab it. We'll do the These can be really great for really broad caregivers as well that have trouble reaching or if you have any uh, challenges and it's hard for you to reach behind you. My husband actually had shoulder surgery mm -hmm. and a crossable strap allowed him to avoid clipping behind him. So he yeah. discovered that crossable straps were really comfortable for mm -hmm. him. So this kind of like makes this normal ergo carrier and like a maid die, it has that similar, yeah, very adjustable. More flexibility. More flexibility. And so that feature is on Omni, not on the 360. That is correct. Got we it. changed the position of the buckles for easier feeding, for that option of crossable straps. And even if you're wearing them in backpack style straps, you can easily loosen and tighten. Thank you so much, Laura. Wasn't Laura amazing? I know you want to see her in more videos. Hopefully we'll have her back. But I hope you liked our comparisons of the various Ergo carriers. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked the video, please give us a like. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe to Magic Beans videos today. We publish videos every week. If you have any questions, go to mbeans.com slash questions. You can call us, leave a comment below, and head over to mbeans.com right now and enter one of our giveaways. See you soon.